know, one of the persons who has inspired me a lot in my life is a person called Leela Naidu. Some of the people might have already heard of her. Has anyone heard of Leela Naidu? Yes. She belongs to a different generation altogether. But in the 60s and 70s, she was one of the most considered to be one of the most beautiful women in the world. If you haven't seen a picture, I've got a book of hers. That's Leela Naidu for you. Isn't she nice? <laughs> When I was a paying guest, when I was working in Mumbai, it was just Leela, me, and I cook. <laughs> Leela was just more than beauty. She was just an amazing person. And when I think about her, our relationship moved from being a paying guest and we became really good friends. And I thought her life exemplified today's theme. Easy come, easy go. When you get something easily, it slips out of your hand easily as well. Leela, well, because of her looks and partly because of the kind of amazing connection she had, she had an amazingly easy life. Looks because, because as God gave her, connections because of the kind of family she was born into. Her father, for example, was one of the first medical physicists of the country. He got his PhD under Madame Curie. And when Madame Curie died, he was actually running her lab. She knew almost everyone, from the Marcos to the Kennedys to the Gandhis to the Tatars. And she had a toast of the world. Saroji Naidu, for example, for us, is the nightingale of India. But for Leela, she was a lovely aunt. Once when Sarunni Naidu was in Mumbai and Leela was a little girl, she went to meet her. And Sarunni Naidu said, come here little girl, and she gave her a box of chocolates. And then she said, now go to the outhouse and go and see Mickey Mouse. So Leela, the little Leela, goes running to the outhouse and knocks on the door. And she hears a voice saying, come in. And she walked in thinking she's going to see Mickey Mouse. Instead, guess who was sitting on the bed? Mahatma Gandhi. And this little girl goes up and says, You're not Mickey Mouse. You've got big ears, but it's not big enough. <laughs> That's the kind of environment in which she grew. That's the kind of people she met. That's the kind of background she had. Life was so easy. But when I met her in 2001, she was a broken person. And I came to know, she died in 2009, by the way. And I came to know that her past 19 years, she lived a life of, of, of a recluse. She knew everyone in the world, but the last 19 years, she would be shut in her flat in Kolaba. No one would even drop, drop it. She was an alcoholic. She was penniless. And therefore, she would open her doors for people like me, so we could, we could stay there as paying guests. It was a huge lesson that I learned. If you get something easy, don't take it for granted. You've got to nurture it. You've got to protect it. You don't have to complain, I got it easy. Great, you got it easy. But remember, very often we take it for granted and we think it's going to stay forever. It won't. So nourish it, protect it, and cherish what you have. Of course, speaking is something, it doesn't come easy. There are no born speakers, as I said in my earlier speeches, citing examples of Winston Churchill to Kennedy to Nehru. There are ways you practice, there are processes you put in place, and that's what we do here in this wonderful forum. Evening after evening, we practice the art. Every Friday, we practice the art of public speaking. And there are so many nuances. People think you come up here and you speak, that's good enough. But there are so many other things. I think one thing that I'd like to remind my members is you need to understand your audience. Particularly when a meeting is dragging too long, you may have your script, you may have a role, but you need to get 
a sense of how's the audience feeling? Are they fatigued? Are they tired? Then cut down on your script. Because it's not about you, it's about the audience. So these are things that you pick up while you're on this journey on this wonderful forum. So to help us do that and to help take this meeting forward, we have an MC. He is a seasoned Toastmaster, a former Vice President Education of this club, a committed person. He would call every member as often as he can. He wanted to keep this club going. He works for a pharmaceutical related company. He is, and I'm in the last table topics contest, he was one of the winners at the division level. Please help me welcome the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Ratan Shetty.